Love is at the center of everything in our lives, from our family, our friends, our relationships, our culture, and most importantly, ourselves. This morning, I'd like to take you on my journey and revisit some of the moments that altered my path in life, transitioning from an engineer to a filmmaker. As you'll see, it was the foundation for love in my life which helped my journey unravel. When I graduated here in 2005, I was fortunate to have such a strong foundation for love. I had incredible people in my life, from my friends, my family, my mom, my dad, my coaches, my teammates, all people who believed in me and instilled a level of confidence and also a platform that would later allow me to choose my own destiny and follow a passion. I was excited for my journey. I didn't know what it looked like at the time or where it would take me, but I was very fortunate to have such amazing people in my life up to that point. I graduated in 2009 from Oregon State with an engineering degree, and after that I felt a strong calling to travel. I embarked into the South Pacific with two of my close friends, Taylor Cavanaugh and Colin Foster. I had nothing but two pairs of clothes and a camera. While only a hobby at the time, I was constantly exploring my curiosity to tell stories. With the camera glued to my hand, I captured everything in my sight. I was fixated on the beauty of the South Pacific. But after a while, it was very clear where my camera should actually point, and that was the people. We met incredible people along the way. We shared our story, and they shared theirs. We were, open, we were welcomed with open arms everywhere we went as we traveled deeper into the South. It was as if our curiosity to know more about these people extracted every ounce of authenticity and made the connection so real. While I didn't know it at the time, the phenomenon was actually quite simple. This was love. As we made our way into American Samoa, we had arranged for a place to stay at the South Pacific International Christian Center School. While staying there, we had arranged to do labor in turn for a place to sleep. We had plans to build a new retaining wall that would help protect the, stu the students and the school from any incoming tsunamis. But as we met with Fa Tui, the wise old village chief and school principal, he had informed us about dreams that he had been having. He said to us in his thick Samoan accent, I have been dreaming about somebody coming to our island and helping us with the video that can help fundraise and tell our story. As it is right now, we cannot afford to pay our teachers or build infrastructure for our students to learn. At that point, it was very clear what our calling was while there in American Samoa. We set off capturing everything we could at the school. There was a love and an energy from the students, the faculty, unlike anything we'd ever seen. We captured tape after tape, and we promised Fa Tui his video when we could return to the US and edit it together for him. finance more funds so that we can upgrade the education of our teachers. But I also pray that God will bless us with wisdom and knowledge to be able to run the school in the future. And I believe we can do that. It's just a matter of uh, financial uh, support that we're looking for. a lot of positive things in life. Christian values, family values, moral values. I believe that that basis is very much required and needed for two.
We left American Samoa with full hearts. The people on the island had taken us in and showed us so much love. We felt forever indebted. We continued our journey. We traveled deeper into the South Pacific. We adventured. We pushed our limits both mentally and physically. We realized that we are capable of much more than we actually think. And through connecting with incredible people in cultures along the way, we realized that we are capable of far more than we actually think. We returned to the US with over 90 hours of footage, and more importantly, an incredible love for life. Just touched down in Portland, Oregon, back home, and uh, about to go in and see the families. So, gave it a good run. Gave it a good run. It's really pretty amazing to look back and and just and just count how many cool opportunities we had and how many people we met. Obviously, you can take something from everyone. Everyone has a story, like Matt says, and um, it's just, it's actually taking the time to care and talk to people and understand where they come from. side of Western Samoa. Unfortunately, a place where the tsunami hit pretty hard. This whole place got wiped out completely. We talked about some of the major priorities he has in terms of taking the next step with this school and how we can help improve him, improve the school with him. The real need is to finance more funds so that we can upgrade the education of our teachers. Beautiful. It's amazing. But it was back to reality and back to a full-time engineering job. But it wasn't long I would have another opportunity to travel and tell more stories through film. My friend Taylor had called me up and said he was leading a group of Oregon State student athletes down to Guatemala to help build a home for a family in need. He asked if I would go and help film and I of course said yes. We embarked to Guatemala on yet another trip. Similar to before, my job wasn't to touch one shovel or lay one brick. My tool was a camera, and what unraveled before my eyes was truly special. Two completely different cultures, a language barrier, different skin tones, but there was one thing in common, and that was the unspoken language of love. As we built the Poverty family of 10 a new home, they showed us the true meaning of love. These people did not have anything in their life, yet they were the most happy you could possibly imagine. Everybody had the same perspective when we left for the trip. They said, how could we ever repay you? We've built you something physical, a house, but you've changed our lives forever. I saw, got like, introduced to a family. He said they're living off two, three dollars a day. I mean, when you see this, it's just, you know, the things they got to go through. You hear about it, but you don't see it until you're here. I, I'm just, 
I'm just shocked. Achieving what we had. We you start digging fatal to us in the past. Still we must take up the challenge, although a daunting task. This world without walls, we must believe it's possible. If you feel it in your heart, nothing's impossible. I'm just so uh, blown away. You know, if I ever have moments of doubt or whatnot, and <laughs> I just go, you know, I just look back at this trip. Walls we cannot see. see. I saw the power of film and I was able to portray my love into a medium that could be shared and help influence others. And I knew I wasn't done yet. I embarked on yet another trip to Guatemala and continue to tell more stories through film. After two years of working as an engineer, I allowed myself the decision to make, I allowed myself the opportunity to make a decision. I knew there was a strong calling to pursue my passion in filmmaking. And that decision wasn't hard. After two years, I knew I had to follow the energy that gave me so much love. I decided to leave my engineering job and start a media company from scratch. After tireless efforts and months without a paycheck, I was able to turn my passion into a reality and build two successful media companies from the ground up. We gotta outfight them now. Outfight them and right from the start. And I don't want them looking down the road and what we've gotta do, it's just one game, the next one. When you walked out on that field, you could feel the buzz in the air. That was one of the greatest moments of my career. Dance, it's pretty much art with your body. What's the point of being alive if you're not living? Doing this makes me feel alive. There hasn't been a day that I've questioned my decision. I'm fortunate to find so much love and fulfillment in what I do. Looking back on my journey, I attribute everything to my foundation. It was those around me who allowed me to not only love what I do, not only believe in what I do, but love what I do. Love is at the center of everything in our lives. In my case, it's been the foundation for my journey. Thank you. <laughs>